Hi, this is Miss Lisa from the St. Paris Public Library. I have an anytime story for you today. This book is called Engineer by Nature and it's Animal Homes and Hangouts. Home Sweet Home. Animals are engineered by nature to survive in their habitats. They use adaptations or features to build homes and hangouts. These places keep them safe from bad weather and dangerous predators. They also give animals a place to rest and raise their young. Some animals build tall mounds. Others dig underground burrows. Animals also use materials such as leaves and sticks to make shelters. Some even carry their homes on their backs. Did you know rabbits use their strong legs to dig burrows? If they sense danger, they race inside. Fast fact. A group of rabbit burrows is called a warren. Prairie Dog Town. Thousands of prairie dogs live together in a colony. They use their sharp, thick claws to dig burrows under the ground. These tunnels and rooms connect. They form a whole town. Small rooms near the surface are used to hide from predators. Deeper down, rooms are used to store food and to sleep. Some are lined with grass. This is where the pups are born and cared for. Back doors are built in case the animals need to quickly escape. Fast fact, the biggest prairie dog town stretched, stretched for hundreds of miles. Did you know, for lookouts, prairie dogs use mounds built near their burrow entrances. If a predator is spotted, one prairie dog barks a warning, then everyone rushes inside. Termite Mound. A single termite is about the size of a grain of rice, but when millions of termites work together, they build enormous mounds. First, the termite mix soil, spit, and dung into their mouths. The termites use this mixture to build layers of walls and tunnels. Then it dries, the, when it dries, the mixture hardens like cement. Fast fact, termites are always repairing their mounds. Some of these structures are more than 50 years old. Did you know termites leave a lot of tiny holes in the mound? These holes allow air to flow in and out. This keeps the mound and nest cool. The termites live in a nest beneath the tall mound. There, they even have a garden where food is grown, and grown to eat. Aardvark Burrow. An aardvark has been feeding on insects all night, but morning is coming, so it's time to dig a burrow. The aardvark has spoon-shaped claws. It uses these sharp claws and its strong legs to scoop earth out of the ground. While it digs, it squeezes its nostrils shut to keep out dirt. Fast fact. Sometimes aardvarks dig layers, dig larger burrows where their babies are born and raised. The aardvark finishes digging a burrow almost 10 feet long. It is safe from predators there. The aardvark curls up inside to rest until the next night. Did you know an aardvark uses its powerful legs and claws to dig up termite mounds? Its long sticky tongue can catch 50,000 termites in one night. Activity, engineering and practice. The shape of an aardvark's claws dig helps it dig. See how this work how this works. You will need an old fork and spoon, two plates and some flour. Try using each utensil to move flour from one plate to the other. Which shape moves the flour fastest and why? Weaver bird nest. The male baya weaver bird needs to attract a mate, so he must build an impressive nest. To start, he gathers long strips of grass. First, the bird makes a loop. Then he uses his strong beak to weave and knot more grass into a small shaped nest, into a ball shaped nest. This is where his mate will lay her eggs. The bird, the bird weaves a long tube at the bottom of the nest. This narrow upside down entrance will keep rain and predators out. Fast fact, a weaver bird makes up to 500 trips to gather all the materials it needs to build a nest. Did you know Baya weaver birds will often build their nest hanging over water? This gives it extra protection from hungry animals. Beehive. 
The honeybees have found a dark, quiet place to build their hive. It's time to get to work. The bee brings up wax stored in their stomachs. They chew the wax until it is soft. The wax is stuck together to make tiny rooms called cells. Each cell has six sides. They fit snugly together. The bees build up layers of cells to make honeycombs. Together the honeycombs form the hive. Honeycomb. Fast fact. Cells in the honeycomb are used to store things such as honey and eggs. Did you know sometimes a hive becomes too crowded, so the bees fly off to build a new hive? This process is called swarming. Cell. Weaver ant nest. A group of weaver ants climbs, to, climbs on to a huge leaf. Some of the ants link legs to form a chain across the leaf. They bend the leaf's edges together to make a tent. Other ants carry larvae in their strong jaws. They gently squeeze the larvae as they move along the leaf's edge. Squeezing makes the larvae ooze silk. The silk works like a glue to hold the leaf's edges together. This creates a space for a new nest inside the folded leaf. Fast fact, in an animal, if an animal attacks a nest, Thousands of weaver ants swarm out to defend it. Did you know half a million weaver ants can live in a single colony? They build many nests for their eggs in nearby trees. Chimpanzee nest. At dusk, it is time for the chimpanzee to make a nest. First, it climbs high into a tree. It'll be safe there. Predators cannot see it from the ground. The chimpanzee bends some large branches then it pushes smaller branches between them. It weaves the branches together to make a sort of basket. Then it puts some leafy branches inside the nest. This makes a comfy bed for the chimpanzee to sleep on. Fast fact, chimpanzees choose trees with sturdy branches to build their nest in. That way they will not fall out. Activity, engineering and practice. Weaving makes a strong structure. Try it yourself. You will need 12 pipe cleaners, a square, of, a square of cardstock, and tape. Lay six pipe cleaners in a row over the square. Leave a little space between each one. Tape the ends down. Take the other six pipe cleaners. Weave each pipe cleaner over and under the first layer. Remove the tape. How strong is your chimpanzee nest? Beaver Lodge. A beaver uses its sharp front teeth to chew through a tree trunk. Boom! The tree falls. The beaver carries it away in its mouth. The beaver has built up rocks and mud under the water. It uses trunks and branches to build a dam on top. The dam blocks the water from, follow, from flowing in the stream. This creates a calm pond. There, the beaver uses more wood to build a dome-shaped lodge to live in. Fun fact. Fast fact. Beavers use mud to fill holes between branches and trunks in their dams and lodges. Did you know a beaver builds an underwater entrance to its lodge? This keeps the beaver safe from predators. Lodge, that's the lodge, dam. Cadus fly case. A catus fly larva is in danger. There are many fish in the stream that want to eat it. To protect itself, the larva collects material from the stream bed. It gathers twigs, sand, and bits of snail shells. It uses its silk to glue the material to its soft body. This forms a hard, protective case. The front half of the larva's body sticks out of its case. To hide larva, to hide, the larva just pops inside. Did you know? When it's time for the larva to turn into an adult, it seals the ends of its case. It breathes through the small holes in the case while it changes. Fast fact. Some catus fly larvae make cases from tiny rocks mixed with bits of sparkling stone and gems. Case. Activity. Engineering in practice. Mixing materials with a cement or glue-like substance make a strong structure. Try this cool activity to see for yourself. Cut a straw in half. 
paint one half with glue, roll the straw in bits of sand, sticks, stones, or shells, and let it dry. Lay the two halves of the straw side by side. Press down on them. Notice how the case helps support and protect the straw. Hermit Crab Shell To keep safe, a hermit crab does not make a den or burrow. It survives by hiding inside an empty shell left behind by a sea snail or another crab. The shell protects its soft body from animals that try to eat it. The crab carries the shell wherever it goes. When it grows too big for its shell, the crab just leaves and finds a larger shell to crawl into. Fast fact, during a hot day, a hermit crab will burrow into the wet sand to cool off. Did you know when a group of hermit crabs finds a new large shell, they form a line beside it. The largest crab moves into the new shell. The next large, largest crab moves into its shell and so on. Frog hopper froth. A mother frog hopper lays her eggs on a plant stem. Soon a tiny nymph hatches. The nymph sucks in air and blows sticky bubbles from its bottom. This creates a white froth that hides the nymph from predators. It also keeps the nymph from drying out in the sun. Inside the froth, the nymph sticks up the, oh, so, wait, hold on a second. Inside the froth, the nymph sticks its straw-shaped mouth into the plant. It sucks up and feeds on juices from the plant as it grows. Fast fact, the froth around the frog hopper's nymph is sometimes called cuckoo spit. Cuckoo, cuckoo spit. Did you know frog hoppers are named for the way they move? They hop like frogs from plant to plant. An adult frog hopper can leap 28 inches in the air actually a bug. <laughs> Engineered to survive. Animals need their homes and hangouts to survive. Prairie dogs run into their burrows to escape hungry, hungry predators. A hermit crab is safe and sound inside its hard shell. A weaver bird's upside down door keeps its nest dry. Aardvarks and chimpanzees rest in their homes after eating. Weaver ants and frog hoppers make shelters to keep their eggs safe. One day, all of these animal babies will grow up and build their own amazing homes and hangouts too. Fast fact, some bower birds mix plant materials with spit. This makes a paste that the birds use to paint the walls of their nest. Did you know a male bower bird doesn't just build a nest? He decorates it too. He scatters colorful flowers, grass, and stones around his nest to attract mates. Glossary. Adaptation. Features or characteristics that an animal has th that help it survive. Burrows. Hole, holes in the ground. Colony. A group of the same bird or animal that live together. Dam. A barrier or wall that stops water from flowing. Dung. Animal poop engineered, designed, and built. Habitat, the natural areas in which organisms live. Honeycombs, groups of six-sided cells made of beeswax. Larva, young insects right after they have hatched. Lodge, a den built by a beaver. Mate, an animal's partner. Mounds, piles of hard packed dirt. Nest, a structure that animals live in and raise their young in. Nymph, a young insect that is almost the same form as the adult. Predators, animals that catch and eat other animals. Silk, sticky threads produced by some animals. Wax, a substance bees use to make honeycombs. Weave, to cross, to cross strands of material over and under one another. engineered to by nature animal homes and hangouts <laughs>